What is going on guys? I'm Nick and today we've got another case for the iPhone 15 Pro and it's gonna be another one from Case Defy. Today we're looking at their impact cases, which are more of their like minimal cases as you can see, but they're definitely still extremely protective from what I've noticed. So let's go ahead and get right into it. We don't have the packaging for these. Case Defy was kind enough to send these out, but either way, we have seen it in a previous video, so I'm not too worried about it. But Let's go ahead and take a look at the inside of this case and we'll get straight to it. Of course, you can see from the other side, it is a MagSafe compatible case. It, every case needs MagSafe. So it's definitely important to remember. And looking around at the inside, this is where you can see that all that impact protection comes from. This is Case Defy's EcoShock material. You can see right here, which is supposed to help absorb impacts extremely well. And the entire case is pretty much lined with this material, especially those corners where it's extremely important. And that is going to be the case for each of these. So definitely nice to see that. And of course, one of my favorite cases has got to be this one. It's the Spider-Man Venom case. I'm a big Spider-Man fan and I absolutely love that case device. It goes crazy with all, this, all of these designs, especially this one. You can see with that light, it is 3D. So you can actually feel all of this texture. And then the eyes right here, they do kind of showcase the color of your phone since they are slightly transparent, just a very matte texture. And on the inside, you can see all that EcoShock again. Even on their clear cases that have designs, such as this one, not just standard clear cases, you can see they do not skimp out with protection anywhere. So let's go ahead and snap one of these on. Let's, let's go ahead and do this one. We'll go with this one. I'll show you what each of them looks like on, but I just want to start with this one right here. So we've got the iPhone 15 Pro. Snap it in just like that. And this is what it is going to look like right there. Super nice really minimal sleek case and while it is a clear back it definitely has some very nice grip to it of course it's not going to be anything insane but something like this that has all of these little kind of grid lines on it you can feel all of that and it definitely does help with the grip let's go ahead and get right into the fit test so over on the front you can see it does have a tiny bit of pull right there by the buttons but everywhere else seems to be pretty stiff down here by the port as well, just slightly, if you can see that. But in the corners where it really matters, it is a very tight fit. There's no just kind of popping that off. Now looking over here at the cameras, you can see that camera lip is definitely doing its job. Right there, you can see how those lenses are not going to shoot over or anything like that. I do want to go ahead and do the wobble test right here. So we're going to set this phone down. We're going to go ahead and see if it wobbles at all. So down here where you're normally going to be typing, there's really no wobble to take note of. It's not going to be until you work your way up. But you do get a tiny bit of wobble in that top left corner. Nothing too crazy, I would say, but just something to take note of. Now, let's get right into some protection. Looking at the front, you can definitely see there is a, there's a pretty decent lip, I would say, for how thin the case is. You do get some protection right there. So I wouldn't worry about putting your phone screen down anywhere. You're definitely covered up in the front. Now, looking at our volume buttons, might be a little difficult to see because of all this speckled material. We'll get into that in a second. You do get an actual cutout for your action button. And because of how thin the case is, it's actually fairly easy to actuate that button. You have really nothing to worry about just pressing over it. You can hear that button getting pressed. So nothing to worry about there. You do have air slits cut into your volume buttons. Let's go ahead and test those out. Very nice to see that. Some very nice and tactile buttons right here, even though they are built into the case. Sometimes these buttons can get a little stiff on other cases. That is not, that is not going to be the case here on Case Defy. Now looking over at the bottom, you can see you do get a pretty decent cutout for your USB-C port right there and then accurate speaker and microphone cutouts. Definitely appreciate that. And this is why you get all that speckled on the edges. This case is made from recycled phone cases. Absolutely love that Case Defy does this. And then this kind of speckle that goes along the edges always reminds you of that. Also, just to mention, these sides are extremely grippy. They're not like a standard clear case. They have some very nice grip to them. They're almost almost sticky i would say but sticky sounds annoying that is definitely not what i'm trying to hint at here let's go ahead and move on to the power button you can see right here there is air slits in the power button as well and then right above it you do get a lanyard hole 
which I've noticed Casetify has moved it up here. I definitely don't mind it. I prefer to have it somewhere different than not having it at all. Now let's go ahead and test out this power button. Very nice and tactile as well. No complaints when it comes to any of the buttons on this case. Looking over at the top, you can see it is completely closed off. You can kind of see that EcoShock material through the through the case since it is slightly transparent, but very nice to see that it's completely closed. Now, of course, this is a MagSafe case, so we have to go ahead and test out our MagSafe. We're gonna start with the Spigen OMAG ring, which is a foam grip and stand in one. Snap this on just like that. And it does tend to stick pretty well. I do think that the design on the back of this is not really sticking too well to the kind of silicone back on here. It's kind of creating an extra gap. So we're not gonna be able to shake it as hard as we can some other cases, but let's go ahead and continue. How about tapping? So tapping down here is definitely not an issue. I have nothing to worry about there. Just kind of comes when it's shaking, but that test is a little unrealistic. It does have some decent strength. We are gonna go ahead and test out the other cases as well with smoother backs just to see how those do. But let's go ahead and finish up first. Here is the Apple battery pack. We're gonna go ahead and test out some wireless charging as well as a bit of strength. So you can see it wirelessly charges just fine. And let's see how this one does. Definitely nice to note that the gap between the power bank and the lip is pretty much non-existent. So any larger battery packs you might wanna be careful with, they might come into contact with this camera lip. But just something to remember for some false drops can see kind of lost it right there and again so i do think it's the same thing the design might be having some kind of interference right there but definitely still some decent grip when it comes to just sitting on the back of your phone so nice to take note of that and a big one for me of course is going to be the magsafe wallet i need my cases to be trustworthy with my wallet see we do get that nice little animation right there as for strength, this is the only accessory we test that does not have a silicone back. So it might be a little more slick, but I have seen some scenarios where it works even better. So we are losing it again. Let's go ahead and throw on another case and see if it is just the design or some of the magnets. So we're going to pop this off. Just like that. Set that one over here. And let's test out, let's test out the standard one first because I do feel like this one is going to have way better magnet strength just because it's more of a flat back. So here we go. And let's go ahead and start with the wallet again. And yeah, I could already tell that this one is way stronger. Just look at that. That wallet is not going anywhere on any of those drops. Let's bring out the battery pack again. Snap this on. This one also wirelessly charges just fine. And let's see. Okay, we did have to hit it pretty hard to get it to lock off, but you could see, I would say that if you have a case like this, and this one does have a design on it, which is also 3D, you can feel this. As you can see right there, it's just a more minimal design. If you have something like this, even if you drop your phone with a battery pack on or anything like that, maybe if it's not a super high drop, you can probably trust your battery pack to stay on the case. Now we are going to test out the Spider-Man or the Venom case because that is probably the most extreme design. So I wanna see how this one is going to fare. Other than, than the design, these cases are pretty much all identical. It is really just the back where it's going to change. So let's go ahead and grab the battery pack. Snap it on. This one also wirelessly charges perfectly. And let's go ahead and try it. Okay, we did kind of lose it there. So it did come off. I do think the designs are going to kind of impact protection, or not protection, the adhesion that you can get between some of these devices or these accessories. Don't really think it's a big deal because they all have MagSafe that is pretty decent. So even if uh, it comes off during a drop, that doesn't mean that it's going to come off when it's coming in and out of your pocket. I definitely don't think that's going to be an issue at all here. But we do still have our big MagSafe test, which is going to be the Nomad Base 1, which is just a charging base for your iPhone, but it is a very heavy one. It's got a MagSafe puck built in, it's made of all glass and all metal, and we're going to see 
if these cases can lift it. Starting with the Venom one, just snap this on. Can see it's charging just fine. And only touching the phone itself, not the base. Can see that it does lift it. We're gonna see if it can lift it and turn it on its side. Again, only touching the phone. And it can, even a tiny little shake. That is just showing how strong these magnets are. Tiny bit of a shake. There's not a lot of cases that we've gone through yet that can even shake the shake this base when it's holding on its side. Some of them can't even get it to go on its side. So that's just to show how impressive it is. Now let's work our way through. That is the Venom case. We're gonna just go ahead and try this one next. The more minimalist one I wanna try last because I'm pretty sure that's gonna be the strongest one. I'm gonna snap this on. We're gonna go straight into the turning. So it does turn it. And again, a little bit of a shake. I'd say it's pretty much the same as the Venom one. Very nice to see that. But now the one I'm excited for, pop this off, just like that. We're gonna snap this one in right here. So definitely strong fit, there it was. Here we go, just snap this on. So sticks just fine. And this one is just slightly stronger. So I would say if you guys want a case to fight case and you're worried about getting a design because of magnet strength, don't worry about it. Really don't worry about it. It's not going to sac you're not sacrificing a whole lot. It is really only when it comes to kind of drops and things like that. I wouldn't say it's worth it to stress about it and then end up with a design you don't really enjoy. But that is going to be it for this one, guys. I'll give you guys one last look around the case and we'll call it a day. So looking at our camera lenses right here, you can see they're very nice and snug inside of that camera lip over on the front. Despite it being a more minimal case, you do get a pretty nice front lip, which is really nice to see. I do have a tempered glass screen protector on here. So if you don't have one, you might get more lip, but if you do, this is pretty much what you're looking at. Over on the volume button side, you get a cutout for your action button, not a dedicated button. And then two buttons with air slits for your volume buttons, which are very nice and tactile. Over on the bottom, you get a pretty generous cutout for your USB-C port and then accurate speaker and microphone cutouts. Over on the right side, you do get a little notice of how your phone case is made. You get your very nice and tactile power button right here, which also has air slits, and then a little lanyard cutout right there and completely closed over on the top. But that is it for this one, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, remember to hit that like button down below. It helps me out a ton. And if you wanna see more videos like this one, remember to subscribe. I'm making a ton of these case videos and I'm gonna start making a ton more accessory videos, especially for the iPhone 15 Pro. I just want to make sure you guys tune in and don't miss any of it. If you all have any recommendations for cases or accessories, remember to leave them down in the comments. I try to respond to all of you guys. I know it might take me a while sometimes, but just be a little patient with me. I will get to you. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.